everyone, it's Ravenflower again! Why? Because I like to do videos and I'm always around. Um, <laughs> no, I'm trying to get some videos done because I know that the work week is coming. So I'm trying to do what I can while my husband is occupied. <laughs> He's off doing birthday stuff with our son. So I'm trying to get as many done as possible. So it may be a record today. I was in the kitchen earlier. I was outside. I'm all over the place. Anyhow, this is the 30 question tag, Halloween-y scary tag that the Lady Grave Dancer done tagged me in. So question number one, let's get to it because it's 30 questions and I've done some long videos recently. Oh, I can feel my little earrings. So look, look these are the moonstone earrings. You can see their little flash that went to my pendant that's missing. I'm guess I'm just gonna keep mentioning it in maybe every video and whoever took it will return it back to me. So the first question is um, what is your favorite um, Halloween or scary movie theme song? And <laughs> Lady Grave Dancer and I, Tequila and I share the same um, uh, yeah, we are definitely soul sisters this. <laughs> <laughs> because my favorite is This Is Halloween. I don't go with the Marilyn Manson version, which is pretty kick-ass, I do have to say, and I do have the whole, um, the whole soundtrack of it where all the different artists did different songs from the movie, and I love it, and it's made me uh, want to go and pop in my um, limited edition Tim Burton video and uh, watch it. So, This Is Halloween, if you've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, well then now you know what to do with the rest of your of your day. Hello. All right, this is Halloween. You see them? Let's see what else it. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. That is my husband. Don't scare me on film. You should know I'm the biggest chicken in the world. Hold on. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, scare me to death. Okay, I am like the biggest chicken. So, uh, yeah, totally scared. Oh, I hope that was entertaining to you. I'm not so happy. <laughs> but meanwhile, okay, back to questions. Um, I should tell you while I'm trying to go back to the uh, list of the questions that I once, when the kids were younger, and they were, I think they were all in middle school, or at least two of them were in middle school, um, it, Friday fell on Halloween and I like rolled down all my windows and blasted that song while I went to go pick them up <laughs> and I, my, my one daughter was like running towards the car she's like yes um so <laughs> that's what that is all right here's Lady Grave Dancer telling me I need to do Process. stuff <laughs> your new birth certificate I had your name legally changed hold on one Dolores second sucks at Halloween tag there she is. Hi, my YouTubers. It's Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm here. It's been a while since I've done a tag video, and I was watching a Thor I Girls love tag videos. the other day, and she did a... Um, right. Pause you, pause. But at least I can get to those questions. All right. So, number two. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. So said the dark forest so immediately I thought of Harry Potter because I'm a nerd, nerd, nerd. I'm a total nerd <laughs> so I'm thinking Voldemort I don't want to run into Voldemort or those really big spiders <laughs> not okay <laughs> all right have you ever played with a Ouija board unfortunately yes I have and got myself in a bit of trouble um in high school <laughs> it was a party and everybody is, you know, doing or whatever, and somebody busts out the board. Like, it is like the total cliche, you know, white girl cliche. Um, so, yeah, somebody busted out the board, and they started playing with it. And I actually wasn't a part of it, but I was in the same room, and I was just being very watchful because 
I was scared to death of those things. I grew up Lutheran. Like, like I'm just like, what are my friends doing? Oh my God, we're gonna die. <laughs> so, as I drink my pumpkin spice latte. Anyhow, <laughs> um, it, it got a little crazy, like the, the, they were asking questions and all of a sudden the, the, I forget what, the little seer, I don't even know what it's called, but it kept like going back and forth to like, no, 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 to a point where it actually had grooves in the board. So it was going so whatever, then people couldn't hold on to it any longer. They couldn't put their fingers on it anymore. So, um, their fingers, you know, they'd come kind of cr fell backwards a little bit and the thing just shot over to goodbye. And I'm like, yeah, that's enough for me. So I have not messed with Ouija, Ouija boards. I don't believe that anybody shouldn't be messing with Ouija boards. You need to leave it to the experts. And you know, Tequila and, um, and Trina know what they're doing. Um, for newbie witches, I don't believe it's a very good idea, although that wasn't the question, so I'm moving on. All right. So number four, favorite horror monster or villain? I really like Dracula. I'm a Dracula fan. I love uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, but then I'm, I'm going to say Vincent Price, too, because, I mean, he's got that haunting, <laughs> you know, crazy voice, and I love it. But um, <coughs> I'm a, probably a um, um, vampire fan. Not that, let, let, let me be very clear. I don't want anybody munching on my neck. I don't need any of that business. But I do like the whole storyline. And the most recent Dracula, uh, the story Dracula Untold, that is a kick-ass movie, y'all. You need to watch it. Um, the way they um, intermesh history in there is, it is good. So um, I think I'm very sympathetic to Dracula. Yes. Okay, number, what are we on? Let's look. The tablet does not lie. Okay, the creepiest, number five, the creepiest thing you have ever, as, has ever happened while you were alone. Oh, shit. Um, lots of stuff has happened while I was alone. I'm going to say the creepiest one that I didn't feel completely, well, hmm, creepiest thing was probably something at the edge of my bed that was, um, watching me, and it was not really in a shadow form, although I, in my mind's eye, could see it. I was pregnant with my eldest, and lots of stuff happened to me while I was pregnant with her. I mean, whoa, I mean, a lot of paranormal happened while I was pregnant with her, and uh, now that she's older, I understand why. But we won't get into that here. And so I was taking a nap, and I had been in and out of labor. I went into labor. Labor lasted three days with her. And so I was just resting. Contractions were coming 20 minutes apart. I wasn't dilating past a four. My uterus wasn't, you know, I here, get all these terms. Okay. I wasn't uh, progressing in as far as being effaced and water hadn't broken. So I was laying down and I had had enough. And there was something at the edge of my bed that wanted the baby. Does that make sense to you? It wanted the baby. And you wasn't talking to me, but it was just like looming over me like that, just from the edge of the bed and sort of like leaning in, like at the foot. And so I sort of curled up. And then when I uh, looked over, I had just immediately, like my mama bear senses kicked in and, and you know, sort of grabbed my belly, just sort of hugged my belly and I stood up, I sat up in bed and I'm just like, you can't have her. And I just, just, I guess it was in my tone and I pro projected, um, projected, I guess, protection for my child and around me. And the thing just dissipated. It just absolutely dissipated. So that is my own private, what happened to me while I was alone. Nobody was there, obviously, but, um, that was pretty freaking scary. So that was that. I've never seen it again, by the way. Um, 
Number six, if you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Well, several of my houses that I've lived in have been haunted, so I guess yes, and um, I guess you just sort of learn to get over it. It's not a big deal. Um, you gotta protect yourself, obviously, but it's, it's not a big deal. Um, I guess unless you're dealing with something that is like trying to hurt you, but I haven't had that instance other than what I just had said before, but I mean, I, I, I have a pretty strong presence, so not that I'm, that is not a challenge by any means whatsoever, but I just don't tolerate a whole lot of bullshit, okay? Um, paranormal or <laughs> living, I just don't. Okay, do 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 Number seven, are you superstitious? Um, superstitious. There's a lot of traditions. There's a lot of traditions that I follow. Uh, my husband and I are both of Irish descent, so there's a lot of super, uh, super, superstitions, superstitions in that uh, cultural environment. Um, I don't really feel superstitious about it. I feel like it's more like these are things that are happening, and you need to pay mind. You need to pay attention to that kind of stuff. All right. Eight number eight. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes, all the time. All the time, all the time, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> okay, number nine, which urban legend scares you the most? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, urban legend. I don't know. I don't know. I'm moving. I don't know. Um, do you prefer gore or thrillers? I mm, I like some gore. I really do enjoy it. I think it's, you know, kind of cool the way they pull it off and all the movie magic and stuff like that. But I think I'm more of a, you know, like psychological thriller kind of gal. Um, I don't really enjoy things popping out at me. And as you saw in the beginning, I got totally freaked out and scared. Um, I have a fight response. So you probably shouldn't scare me. That's why my husband did it from like way over on the other side of the room because he knew I would have like thrown a punch. <laughs> so no. Um, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we're witches. So yeah. Yes, of course. Um, ever make a potion of any sort? Yes, all the time I, I make potions. I mean, I guess... If it's going to be like Harry Potter potion class, like, no, like Eye of Newt and all this other stuff, um, no. But I think when you're dealing with um, certain types of cauldron magic, water magic, um, making oils, you know, for magical purposes or for medicinal purposes, yes. So, yes. Oh, gosh. Do you get scared easily? Well, yeah, you just saw it. Yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> What's the biggest chicken? Um, I can tell you that I actually took down a Freddy Krueger. Um, is it a Freddy Krueger or Jason? I can't remember which one. Anyhow, in one of those haunted houses I was going because the kids wanted to go. And um, something grabbed hold of my hand. And I, you know, how they try to grab your hand from behind. And you turn around and you think it's like your friend that you're with. Oh, no. It was Jason <laughs> or the Friday or one of the two and I just hauled off like started like punching like punching this poor dude and all I could hear was of like ma'am get off of me ma'am please stop hitting me <laughs> so I can't go into haunted houses anymore I get scared too easily <laughs> all right have I ever played Bloody Mary no I was completely terrified and I wouldn't do that because one I don't know what the heck Bloody Mary is. Why are you going to be calling that? No. No. Um, do you believe in demons or the devil? Well, there is no devil in the craft. Um, that should be clear. And demons are his, like, minions, if you will. Like his own, like, um, what do you call it? Evil monkeys. Flying monkeys. <laughs> so, um, no, I don't believe, I guess, in 
demons, demons, but I do believe in negative nasty spirits or mean spirits or things that are trying to hurt or harm or possess or take over you in a certain way. So I'm going to say entities, maybe not demons. In uh, my Christian walk, you know, it seemed to be an excuse that a demon was trying to make you do something all the time. It's like that you couldn't just do it on your own or whatever. But no, I don't really believe in demons or the devil. Um, you're home alone, but you hear footsteps in the house. What do you do? Um, well, <laughs> I hear footsteps in my house quite often because we went back to that other question that talked about haunted houses and I can be downstairs. I'm the only person in the house and the dog, when we had the dog, um, and three cats are all around me, you know, they're sitting next to me or they're sitting on my lap or whatever. And I know that they're all there. I know there's nobody else in the house. And there are footsteps as if somebody is like walking from one room to the next room. And I have just sort of made peace with it because nobody's harming anything. Aside from a moonstone going missing, nothing's harming anything at all. Everybody's sleeping fine. Nobody's having bad dreams. There's nothing like that. And I have already, I, my husband and I have done a lockdown on this house as far as none can enter that mean harm. So whatever is here might be one of my ancestors walking around and checking on things. So you have to consider not everything that you're hearing that's going bump in the night is evil. It might be there to protect you. Have you thought of it? Just saying. Okay. Number 17. If you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Scary movie. If I had to get trapped in a scary movie. Well. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. I had to get trapped in a scary movie. I really don't know. <laughs> no idea. Um, I watch a lot of scary movies. Maybe, you know what? Ooh, The Others with Nicole Kidman. That's a good one. Um, moving on. Just scrap that. Scratch. Okay. Uh, number 18. If you could, if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of, of your life, what would it be? It would definitely be a witch. So I can be a witch all year long and not be ashamed of it. Not that I am ashamed of it, but that people weren't going to sit there and judge me. So let me, I didn't say, I didn't mean ashamed. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments. I didn't mean ashamed. So that I didn't have to fear judgment for that. And I shouldn't be fearing judgment, but I do live in Texas and it is the Bible Belt. And sometimes these people tell you. They don't give you a ration of crap no matter what. So sometimes you, it's best as a witch, as a practitioner, to kind of just lay low and keep your mouth shut. That's my take. May not be yours. That's just my take, my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Okay. Would Number 19, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, and I have. I do. Um, I don't sit there and, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, we've done a graveyard tour at night, downtown San Antonio in the old, old graveyard, which was really cool. Um, there is a couple of graveyards, like family graveyards, that are actually not too far from where I live. And when uh, I was doing my walking routes, we go past one all the time. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm, absolutely. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. In a zombie apocalypse... <laughs> This is number 20 is great. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Weapon of choice? I'm going to be like Mashom. I want I want a samurai sword, but I got to learn how to got to learn how to use it. So either that or, you know, like one of the big machete knives like wah, 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 you know, take off heads. That's what I'm going to do. Um Number 21, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? I'm going to say trick-or-treating. <laughs> trick-or-treating that ends on a Halloween party? <laughs> so the last house is the party? That would be cool. I like to trick-or-treat. Um, I like to hand out candy to the trick-or-treaters. I like to see all the costumes. And I like to see other people's houses. Um, it's interesting to me to see how people set stuff up. I really like that. 
So yeah, let's end the last house for the trick-or-treating should be the party. That's that's my take on it. Let's see what else. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Weapon of choice, trick-or-treating. Okay, number 22, you're in a horror movie. Are you, oh, oh, are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? <laughs> Man, the older I get, the more I sympathize with the killer. <laughs> I'm telling you now. But, I'm probably the comic relief. That's probably who I am. Do you, uh, number 23, do you watch, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so that you can sleep? No, not all the time, but there has been some that were pretty horrific that, you know, like, especially the psychological thriller types that, um, have to do with children or, you know, things like that. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, I'm like, I just need to like watch some, something <laughs> just so I can like have, have a different mindset before I go to bed. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. Sometimes, sometimes absolutely. All right. Number 24, wall, waltz, 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 really? Waltz watching scary movies. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Are you the person that yells at the characters? The person with their eyes covered the whole time or the person who falls asleep? I am all three of those people, depending on what we're watching. So, I will totally yell at characters and be like, come on. Are you really gonna go down there? What the heck are they doing? Who's following? Stop! Turn around! I do that kind of business. Um, and then I also am the person to, I don't like things popping out at me. So I can tell by the way, I've watched enough scary movies so I know the timing and the pauses of when something's gonna pop out. And I know the, you know, the music. I can tell when the music's coming up or when, it, when it's gonna go. So I will like immediately like, I do this number a lot. I do this number and I kind of like watch it like with one eye. Um, I have burrowed under the person next to me occasionally just because I'm just like, ee! and if it's too crazy scary, then I try to like cover my ears so I'm not listening and closing my eyes down as much as possible. I mean, it's ridiculous. I am a chicken. And then if it is just boring as hell and I've had enough in the day, I'll fall asleep. I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> All right, number 25, are you the one who gets scared or are you the one that does the scaring? I'm usually the one that gets scared. Um, favorite scary book? Bram Stoker's Dracula. How old were you when you first saw, let's say, when you, when you saw your first horror movie? I want to say Freddy Krueger was my first first horror movie and I think I was in middle school when this happened um, I think I was in middle school or late grade school and it I was terrified 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 um, mm -hmm. what was my first Halloween costume I think I was Raggedy Ann I think they dressed me up like Raggedy Ann and so I did the same thing for my daughter when it was her first Halloween. So she was super cute, little Raggedy Ann. Um, okay, number 29. We're coming to a close. We're almost done. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Really? I'm going to be a witch. <laughs> or I'm going to be the tired lady that comes and sits out on the porch and hands out the candy and be all excited. Um, we have a pond and then we have a walkway next to the pond. So my husband dresses up like a pirate. And so then I'm a winch, a winch, not a witch. Winch, maybe I could be a winch witch. So I have a drink on my hip and a hat. I don't know. Um, and I pass out the candy. My husband will make those poor little kids walk the plank, the little walkway to come get the candy. Poor little babies. So was, I usually save them and I try to meet them at the edge of the bridge. <laughs> Okay, number 30, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, what would you pick? This is really hard because I like every single one of these things. I think rats are super, super smart and I like them. I don't necessarily want to keep them because they're kind of stinky. Um, wolf, I mean, they're beautiful. My dad uh, calls us all the wolf pack. He loves wolves. Um, owl, oh, I've always wanted an owl, 
I've always wanted an owl, and then I have cats, and I've had black cats before, too, so I can't pick, honestly. I just, I just can't. I'm not going to. Okay, so that is the 30 question Halloween tag. Is that right? 30 question Halloween tag. So I tag the masses. Go go to tag town. Have fun with this if you'd like. Um, maybe I guess who would I want to who would do a tag? Boy, I really wish that Sunshine Morning Ray would do a tag. So maybe she will do a tag for us. If not, then maybe Sterling. Uh, Nate? Um, let see, I can't tag Lady. I can't tag Lady Grave Dancer. She just did it. Um, I think that's it. So anybody else who may want to do a tag, got some time, have some fun. I'm excited for Halloween coming. I know it's only September, but I'm so excited. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye. Hearts, stars, and clovers.